Hey everybody, Coach Tanya here. Day 29 is upon us and we're gonna do some cardio, but it's also gonna work our lower core and we're gonna do something called tap ups. Now, you can do this anywhere in your house, outside. If you have stairs in your house, this is a great thing that you could do. You just need like a little step or something that's a little higher than the floor. If you don't have the step, I will show you how to modify. What you're gonna do with the tap up is you're gonna use a step. I don't have a step, so I'm gonna use a box. Um, and you're going to start with one foot up and you're going to alternate until you're here. You could do it like this. If jump in, if you have bad knees or bad back or anything hurts when you jolt and jump, you just do fast step ups, but I want fast movements like this, tap ups. Your feet really aren't going to be there for a long period of time. The step is really just somewhere to tap your foot to give you a guide. So if you don't have a step, don't have a box or anything you could use, you could just stand like this and just think that you're tapping your foot onto the top of a box. Okay, so this is gonna be a minute of cardio. All right, so get, get yourself somewhere or some sort of step, or even if you have like a chair like this right here, you can just tap it up. That's a little high, but if you have bar stools in your house and have like a little part on the bottom for your foot to go, you can utilize that as well. So I'm gonna get this timer on and let's get it started. Okay, so let's get going. Tap it up. Things to think about when you're doing this. Again, it's cardio, so you want speed. So tap those toes, tap, 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 tap it. You wanna go as fast as you can. You wanna keep your core tight, keep your chest up. Don't have your chin down either. You're gonna cut off your airway. Keep everything up. Keep pushing, come on, tap it, tap it, tap it. Keep going, come on. This is working your butt, it's working your lower abs because you're using those abs to lift those legs up doing cardio so your heart rate should be up so you're burning those calories 20 seconds come on push it faster faster come on come on I don't care how loud you kick the box or make it sound just push yourself come on burn those calories burn that slice of pizza burn that bowl of ice cream three two one Woo. don't go to a dead stop Slowly walk around a little bit. Deep breath in. Out the mouth, in the nose. Out the mouth. Let me explain the reason why you do this. You don't want to come to a complete halt and a complete stop. You're going to shock your body. You need to bring your heart rate down slowly, naturally. So if you're ever doing any cardio, you never want to go, 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 and then just stand there. You need to slow your heart rate down. And even though you only did it for a minute, your heart rate's still got up there. So you want to make sure you naturally bring it down so you don't hurt yourself or shock your body. Okay, I'm feeling like I can talk a little normally now. So at least I know that I can stop walking because my heart rate has come down naturally. So that's a little tip for when you're doing any sort of cardio based or anything where you feel like you've got yourself out of breath. Make sure you don't just stop walking. You breathe in your nose for a count of two. Out for a count of two. So one, two, one, two. Makes it very easy and it's very fast to slow your heart rate down. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.